my work begins with a walk. Um, I, I, I need to, to, to go and walk in the landscape and um, really engage with it through drawing. And it's by drawing and making work in situ that um, I sort of embed the ideas um, in my memory, which I recall later on back in my studio. Um, sometimes weeks, um, months after the, the, the visit, but it all feeds at some point into my work. Um, I moved to Highland Perthshire about 14 years ago and the move really prompted me to revisit some of the ideas that I enjoyed when I was growing up. Um, and I think I've come to realise that the, there's always a motif, there's something about what makes you want to, to make things and create things, which comes from childhood. And I think as a child, I was always looking at nature and I was always really inquisitive as to why things um, happened and why they were there. So I was looking at insects and birds and I was exploring things out, out on the, the garden and a disused railway line. Now um, that I have a studio, a fantastic studio to, to work in, I'm able to explore things which uh, have been sort of lying dormant uh, when I was living in the city. Uh, and now I am able to make uh, large watercolour paintings and more sculptural work. People ask me about drawing, um, why I draw. Uh, I think it's such a fun fundamental thing to my practice. And it's I draw for drawing's sake because I love it. And then I draw as a way of informing my paintings. Although I don't make paintings directly from my drawings, so I never have my sketchbooks lying out on the floor as a reference point, they're always put away. But because I've made these drawings, um, as um, you know, going out to Smar Glen, for instance, uh, I, I, I already have a memory of it. When I'm out walking, I, I like a lot of people, end up collecting things, um, stones, little bits of quartz, um, um, seashells, feathers, various stuff. So inevitably my studio gets full of, of these bits and pieces and um, I, I see them as little catalysts. So although I'm not necessarily painting or drawing directly from them, because I have them in place, uh, I see them and I can sort of touch them. It reminds me of where I've been and it acts as a prompt for um, pieces of work. I'm uh, currently working on a piece of work which I'm going to call a series of small changes, which came about almost by chance when I happened to be uh, in my studio chatting with a, a friend of mine and I there was some black ink lying around on my work surface and I put my thumb in it and started to make these thumbprints across this long sh um, sheet of Chinese paper. And I noticed that each thumbprint was subtly different from the other. And I started playing with that. And then from that, I happened to chance upon some objects that I have laid out on my, my table. And it was a quail's egg, which has beautiful little markings uh, on, the, on the, the shell surface. And I start, I, I always do this, but I start making connections between things. So this thumbprint was morphing into the, an egg-like shape just by a, a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of drawing on the surface. Um, and this is a project, a sort of ongoing project that I'm going to engage with over the next, next few months. <laughs>